What's up YouTube? This is uh, Stay Make Your Grenade, also known as Edgy. If you don't know, I was the voicer of uh, Stay Make Your Grenade, and I'm getting ready to upload what will be actually my second tutorial, because my first tutorial has yet to be uploaded. Okay, so anyway, um, <clears throat> anyway, so basically what I'm going to do in this tutorial is I'm going to show you how to make some Reaper. So let me just go ahead and get Reaper opened up here because it takes forever to load. Um, basically, okay, first of all, you open up, this is assuming that you have like your UST file already rendered and everything. See like, um, I'm just going to do this real quick. Um, I'm just going to pick a random voice bank for this. I'll choose uh, same as uh, same as a uh, triphonic voice bank. Okay, so now you've got your UST. You put it. Go up here to project, and then you render your wave, and that's how you make a uh, wave file. Yay! Okay, so anyway, that out of the way. Now. This is your Reaper interface. Over here is where your tracks are going to go, and they'll have mixers down here. Okay, so I'm going to go through here and uh, find the uh, UST file that I was actually just working with, assuming that my computer doesn't crash. Yay, it didn't. Oh, there it is. I really need to sort this out. Okay, so anyway, I've got uh, relics in here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Uh, if you didn't see my previous video, go watch it and you will hear the final result of what I'm about to do. Okay, so anyway, uh, I actually just remembered that I have the Relics Karaoke right here. It's under my UST folder. So, I'm just going to take this, pick it up, and drag it over into Reaper. And because I've used this karaoke before, it didn't have to build what's called a repeaks file. I'm sure you saw that. Reaper peaks file. Now, what I do, when you drop it in, it's probably going to appear like out to here. Like wherever you drop it in, that's where it's going to show up. You don't want it to be out this far because then you'll have like uh, five seconds of delay so before the song even starts. So what you do is you pick it up, and as you can see, I'm just dragging it around. Okay, so this is so now that we've got this, if we hit play, we're just going to hear the sound file, and you notice it created a um, track over here for the karaoke file, and it'll have the same file name as the file that you put into it. So make sure to name your files appropriately. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to go in here to the Relics folder, and as you can see, I've already got uh, Teto, Teto's um, Relics rendered. I rendered this using her Whisper voice bank, which that took a lot of editing. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up the file. Well, actually I'm going to control, control click on the three files that I need, and um, just drag them over in here, here to Reaper. Now this is the simpler way of doing it. It'll pop up and it'll, it'll ask you if you want to import the files on separate tracks. And you want to say yes, unless you're pretty sure that your uh, harmonies are synced up with your melody. But I'll, I'll just click yes, because I know for a fact that these files are not synced. So I'm going to select my two harmonies right here, and I'm just going to move them on down somewhere. I'll sync them up later. Now what you want to do is you want to move this around your melody file and you can click anywhere on the screen to see where you're at. Just hit the space bar and it'll play. And um, you want to make sure that you're positively 100% synced up because songs that are out of sync sound so horrible. Okay, so just now listening to that, um, I noticed that uh, the start is about right here. And now the opening of Relics goes, um, Itsuka, 
and that ka falls on this line right here. But as you can see, e zu ka, this right here, this ka right here, is going to be far over to the left. Um, now, the way you fix this is to hold down the shift key and drag it until it sounds appropriate. And there you have it. I actually just took a random guess at that one, but that's how you did it. That's how you do it. Just hold down shift and you can um, you don't have to abide by the guidelines that you may or may not be able to see right here. Okay, so anyway, now my harmonies are off. They are way off from where they need to be. So, let's see, where is this? Okay, that's at the ah. Now, the harmonies go right about here. Now, the way you select more than one track in Reaper is you click on one track and then you shift click on another track. Now, I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to line them up. It's not exactly lined up, so let me just nudge this over a little bit more. Now you'll notice that the A ah in Anata, right here, it goes out farther than the melody. We don't want that. So, what you do is you select these two, and you will, you can just click and drag, or you can hold down control to move the one that you're holding, or you can shift click to move them both. Now I'm just going to size them up to where the ah starts together. And move this over a little bit to where it's roundabout in sync. Now it's just going to start off just ah, not ah. It it doesn't have a fade. So with both tracks still still selected, if you go up here to the top corner, you're going to see something that looks like a uh, arc, an arced box. You grab this and drag it to right about there. That looks about right. Should be enough fade. Now, pay attention to this. You see how it's going up into the red. If it goes into the red, that means you're clipping in a song. Clipping in a song is never, ever, ever, ever good. Never. Um, on the karaoke track, it also clips. Now, the karaoke track is actually very, very loud. And it is the professionally done track. Now, I know what you're thinking. If this Anataga is la is further ahead then shouldn't the other one be if you know the lyrics of um yeah see here the anataga it, the ah starts way way before it should so how do we fix this well select click and select into one track and uh use your arrow keys to line it up to where you're going to trim off the part of ah that you you want to get rid of. I actually did this only once in the other video, in the finished video, because I didn't realize that all of the Anataga is going to be was going to be like that. Now, you can you hold down shift and you click up and you select up until the part that you want to get rid of. Now, to get rid of it, you hit control and delete. Now what this does is it cuts the selected part, which means if you need it later, you can paste it. So it's not gone forever, don't worry. But you do not, I repeat, do not press delete, because that will delete your tracks. And that, friends, is why this was 
made. The glorious undo button. Okay, so now I'm going to select 